what is the most frustrating aspect is that, you know, freely we talk about three points you're going to turn over. And the rebounding. And the rebounding. The, the, we failed in all three areas. So, yeah, it's frustrating. I mean, the, this stage of the season is no moral victories. Uh, you know, that team has beaten us three straight times. So, yeah, game two and three were blowouts for them. Uh, tonight was a game, but you know, we, uh, good teams don't beat themselves, and, and that's our biggest problem. We continue to beat ourselves. 18 for 30 points, six for nine in the fourth quarter. Um, you only give up 10 offense rebounds, which is not a bad number. But they convert that to 17 points. And then they hit 19 threes. So you give up the three, you give up the glass, you give up transition points off your turnovers. Um, you make it uh, hard to beat a team that has a lot of weapons, a lot of weapons. Obviously, Nicola had a, a great night. Monta hit some big, big threes late. Aaron was really good throughout. And we had some guys that just, quite honestly, really struggled tonight. And, uh, you know, uh, we have four games to go. We're going to LA tomorrow. Um, and, and that's all that we'll worry about right now is trying to, really be, trying to find a way to be better and beat the Lakers. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Did they feel like a more desperate team uh, to you guys or to you? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like guys played hard. I mean, I, I didn't think we were out there going through the motions, if you will. Um, so, yeah, I never, at one point during the game, did I think, you know, we're not playing hard. We're not competing. Um, were we playing smart at all times? No. Did they have work us on the glass at times? Yes. But overall, I, I wouldn't say this is a game where I could point to a lack of urgency or a lack of uh, fight. Coach, you've also brought up the fact that you guys have put other teams at the foul line quite often. Mm -hmm. about 36 times tonight. What do you think is not working well in that regard? What needs to change for you guys to keep the ball in that line? Oh, we'll stop fouling because we are fouling. I mean, the whole bench is, you know, bitching and complaining about we're fouling. I mean, it's, it's, we're fouling guys. We foul jump shooters at a ridiculous rate. Uh, we defend with our hands. Um, you know, and, and our second unit has to be better. Teams are getting into the bonus in the second and fourth quarter with around eight minutes to go. So now when the starting group comes in, they're, they're being forced to, hey, defend without fouling for eight minutes. That's really hard. So we have to um, just be a lot smaller. We have to show our hands. We have to um, just be a lot more disciplined in terms of how we guard so we can keep teams. I mean, 36 free throw attempts, to your point, TJ, uh, is an outrageous number when you add up the turnovers, the free throws, the points off uh, offensive rebounds. It's, uh, it makes it really, really hard. The fact that we're in the game in light of all that is really remarkable. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I maybe mean, got playing 48 minutes moving forward. You know, it's like the close of the first and third quarter, the start of the second and fourth, is um, it's not been good lately. Um, and so we have to find a way to to figure that out in terms of uh, being better defensively, being better offensively. Um, you know, sometimes it's we turn the ball over, we're fouling. And there's not a whole lot going on. So we're holding on for dear life till we get him back in the game. When Carl Anthony Towns goes out, Anthony Edwards takes over, D'Angelo Russell takes over, like uh, whoever else. So off the bench, Malik had 15, Prince had 16. Um, so it's something where I have to help that group out. They have to help themselves. And, uh, you know, we have four more games starting in L.A. to try to figure it out. I'm trying to get the guards to sit down. Uh, I wish I had an answer. Appreciate it. Oh, good. What do you say to fans? We're all kind of armchair experts at this point who see how hard you guys have played and say, how's the nice one with gas or as much water as they've had to carry? And it's easy for them to say, oh, bring your ball back you know, for this one. What do you say to those fans who are kind of holding out over that the last one? Yeah, I mean, keep hope alive. You know, Jesse Jackson, down with dope, up with hope. Keep hope alive. Um, you know, Jamal's working his butt off. You know, I talked to, um, I think, the uh, sports writer of the year, Mike Singer, the other day, and told him how like, we're, we're not shutting down Jamal Murray. Like, this is, this is not a black and white issue. You know, we're not running a race with a definitive finish line. Who knows what the season is going to look like after four games? Are we going to be in the playoffs? Are we going to play in? What happens? Who knows? That, that's to be determined. Um, DeMar's getting better every day. Trust me. Uh, we all want him back. I want him back. We're a better team with Jamal Murray. Um, and, and he wants to be back. He's making great progress. But uh, I can't sit here and say that he's going to play in any of the last four games. But I also can't say that he won't. So, once again. 
Questions? Did you say food for my quarter dinner as well? Uh, no comment. Thanks, guys. Thank you.